Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 5th, 2024. Hey, I want to apologize right up front. I have kind of a weak voice this morning, just dealing with a spring cold here. Not feeling all that great this morning, so please bear with me. Let's take a look at what happened overnight. If we take a look at um, Asian markets, they sold off across the board last night. A little bit, little bit on the bearish side, but it wasn't terrible. It, the worst of it was the Nikkei. It fell by 1.98%. Everything else was relatively controlled, um, I would say, overnight. If we take a look at European markets, European markets are down across the board this morning and decidedly bearish, kind of following in the footsteps in the United States and that really big concern that um, everyone is starting to maybe pick up on and that is perhaps our economy isn't as strong as we thought it was and that we may not be getting the rate cuts that we thought we were going to get. So they're a little bit um, down this morning feeling a bit of pressure going into Friday. Let's take a look at um, U.S. markets. U.S. markets have returned to the green here, trying to pop back up just a little bit this morning. Um, really trying to suggest that you know yesterday's selling was a little bit too extreme, wanting to bounce back up. But there is quite an anticipation of certainty going into our data this morning, our jobs data this morning. So we'll see how that goes as the morning progresses uh, just kind of keeping in mind this is very early about 5 30 a.m central time here that um, i am recording this if we uh, take a look at the other things going on in the market here oil is still holding a little bit higher yesterday we started down and then by the end of the day we were pushing those oil prices back up we now have Brent crude over $90 a barrel at 90.90 a barrel this morning, and um, oil futures at 88.67 a barrel this morning, just ever so slightly higher on the day. And natural gas is essentially flat here this morning. If we take a look at gold, um, my goodness, gold continued to hold up yesterday and is going a little bit higher um, early this morning here. We're up $3.90 an ounce at $2,312 an ounce. Still showing that concern in the precious metals that maybe something isn't quite um, as copacetic as we had been hoping and we're really seeing uh, maybe a bit of a fear uh, trade beginning to happen here uh, with folks running to safety in the market. Now that being said this morning we have um, a lot of the other precious metals uh, lower here this morning but just ever so slightly. If we take a look at the crypto markets um, crypto um, with Bitcoin is lower here this morning. It ended up with a really good surge back up yesterday, over 3,000 points. But uh, this morning down 1,681 points. And of course, um, most of that is lower this morning following suit. So what does all that mean for today? Oh, I forgot the bonds. The bonds, we better take a look at those. The two-year bond has edged back a little bit from last night's high. Um, it's at 4.66%. The 10-year bonds are at 4.34%, and the 30-year bonds at 4.49%. So they've edged back just a tiny little bit, but certainly not providing a whole lot of stress relief yet in... Um, in these um, rates, we're continuing to see our um, interest rates going up, mortgage rates are going up, and that pressure is being felt um, um, all different places around the market. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video.
Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of an information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to shake off a little bit of bias and uh, just look at the charts for what they are, not for what they want them to be. And I know in um, big moves like this of the market, there is a little bit of panic and desperation that comes up here in the market. And certainly yesterday's um, sell off in the afternoon after gapping higher was a little bit of a concern. If you remember um, in yesterday's video, I warned to watch for the possibility of a whipsaw. And um, boy, we certainly, we certainly did get that yesterday with that push down and then just the fear that maybe um, um, the Fed isn't going to cut rates, that things aren't looking as sweet as we had once thought. And we're really um, honestly just taking off um, some of the um, overbought condition in a lot of these stocks. We're kind of shaking those off here just a little bit. but. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Uh, first off, a pretty substantial move here. Giant bearish engulfing candle here in um, that chart, just really taking back a great big bunch of, of price action here in the market all at once. And you can see we came in here and we came to rest very, very close to this price support area I've got marked in the chart. Now, remember that when you draw a line like this, um, it's never perfect. Um, it could, it really should be a very wide, um, a wide line in here. But that being said, if the bears could continue to push this lower this morning based on any data that we receive, then pushing down into here giving a good solid test of this price support would be the first place I would be looking for them to go. Now beyond that point, it gets kind of ugly. We start dropping in here pretty hard and you can see there is some support places right in here that we could, whoops, let me see if I can, right in here that we could grab a little bit of price support if we moved on lower from there. And if that were to break, um, we could come all the way down into that area of the market. So um, unlikely we probably zoom straight down there unless we get some really bad data today, but watch, um, watch that carefully for that possibility. Now, if we find some bullish activity here in the market and reason for a little bit of relief bounce and you know fridays are really good for those kind of little relief bounces if we can find the data to support it um, then a push back up this would seem pretty logical that we would push right back up into here and then even see if we could break that if we could break that in a bounce back up then once again we're going to start just going in reverse and checking out some of these um, areas of the chart where we might come right up through here and catch the bottom side of these last two tails over here in the chart. And that would um, bring us back more than 50% of that big dropped candle. And we may run into a little bit of, well, uncertainty as we get up there. Just kind of keep in mind if um, I were to take, I'm just going to grab this line right here. I'm going to drop it right there. I'm going to pull this across over here. It is possible that we have begun a downtrend here in the diamonds chart. So we have um, a couple of things that we can do here um, that we'll want to be paying attention to. That's that rally back up, relief back to that downtrend. And then we start to look for those sellers to come in there. And we could also just kind of rest and consolidate. We could chop around in here, moving out to that trend, and then still find that reason to the downside. So remember, we need to get back up above the support levels and see those bulls push on through to the upside if we're going to be bullish here in the market. And um, certainly reason that either one of those scenarios 
could play out here. If we take a look at the SPY, also pretty ugly bearish engulfing day, failing this price support. I had mentioned this resistance up here um, in the chart. We came right up there, tested it, and then reversed on the day. We're giving up trend, we're giving up this support. And then we even slipped on through and we gave up that area of support that I mentioned yesterday. So um, if the bears continue to push, uh, by the way, I, uh, this was the, the area I said, boy, that's going to take a pretty big move to come down here and test that area of the chart yesterday. Now, if the bears continue to push in this chart, the next area lower would be down in here. And then beyond that point, we're probably looking at this bigger support area down here in the chart. If the bulls can reverse this and hold in that area, finding that price support in here, we could bounce back up off of here. And again, just a test back up into this area of price resistance in the chart would be likely to see if we can break through those uh, the low side of those two little candles there and then pushing back up to the major resistance area here in the chart. And that'd be a pretty big point move bounce in the SPY. So we'll need some data to potentially do that. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also had a real rough day yesterday. Now, this one is probably, this chart is probably one of the more uh, concerning ones in the market because we bounced right back up here to this major resistance area in the chart and then um, we're showing that rejection here in that move and boy we sure did it all at once we broke the trend here we broke down through those lows yesterday of those two little candles that I had suggested we would want to watch and that support area in the chart and we ended up coming right down here to that area that I said would be maybe the next area of price support in um, in the QQQ. Now, if the bears can continue to push on lower, once again, I would look for this area, these uh, tails, things like that to be breached to the downside if they can continue to push on lower. And we might stretch on down to a level down in here on the chart. Now, beyond that, it gets pretty ugly. We could drop pretty hard, pretty fast. Um, in um, in the QQQ if we start breaking down below those levels. So just be careful here um, in, um, in the way you move in this market. Try not to panic, but at the same time, try to be really focused on these price levels because um, there is the potential that we could have some big price moves um, uh, both up or down in the market. Now, looking at this little area right in here, we could move this um, um, uh, up from this area, finding the support. And I'm gonna tighten that up to just the bottom of the candles rather than the tails in here and a bounce back up. First thing I would look for is a test right back up in here to test the lower side of those candles. And if we can break back through there, then right up in here, looking for the bottom side of that resistance area in the chart to be watching on the QQQ. Now, if we look at our Russell um, IWM, also had a rough day, but notice wasn't as bad as the other indexes. We ended up holding this area of price support right here in the chart. We ended up bouncing just a little bit at the end of the day and not having a bearish engulfing candle here. However, that being said, we did put in a lower high creating that concern in the market. So if the bears were to find inspiration here today, I would suggest a uh, push on through um, this area and then we're looking at support maybe down in this area of the chart. Beyond that, we're gonna move pretty quickly, I think, to a downside move and really stretch that lower. So watch carefully if that were to occur. Now, if we find some support across here and we bounce off of this area, I'm going to be looking for that retest back up into here. That's that resistance level of the chart. If we can break back through there, then I'm probably going to be right up in here someplace for that next resistance area. And then, of course, beyond that, we're testing the top of yesterday's candle and 
right back up here to that major resistance area of the chart. And I still think those are possible moves to the upside that could happen um, because we have been so incredibly bullish in this market. We just want to buy stocks. We don't want to see any selling here in the market. We don't want to see any relief. We don't want to see any pullback. We don't want to see any of the frothiness taking off this market. If we can get any hint that things are uh, better than what they were assumed yesterday. Pretty good bounce is certainly possible. Just the emotion of the market and a Friday. If we take a look at our VIX, certainly our VIX had kind of a rough day yesterday, pushing up here, showing us that fear. And if I go to this drawing here, you can see we have held that higher low here in the chart. We held this trend we broke back through into that trend we held it as support and then pushed up really hard um, here in the VIX now I would expect that um, with the pre-market um, pump that we're getting this morning that to pull back and rest a little bit but watch that carefully here if we hold another higher low in the VIX by resting back a bit that's where we can really things can get pretty ugly pretty fast and you can see we can really start to spike when we pop up here and then we rest back and then bang um, get a lot of bearishness that comes into the market all at once so be kind of careful watching this but I would suspect this is going to ease off a little bit this morning at least until we get that data today and then all bets are off anything is possible if we take a look at our uh, T20s our T2122, come on, I'll get it here. Our T2122, if we take a look at that, we have certainly pulled this back substantially here on the, whoops, let me get to a daily. Um, we had pressed this up and yesterday and in, in the gap up open, we were all the way up here. T2122 popped all the way back up into the bearish reversal zone yesterday on that whipsaw and it probably trapped a lot of folks in the market rushing in to buy something yesterday morning and boy that was a, a painful lesson to not chase a big gap up open on that reversal here in the day and pulling all the way back so if if those bulls can find inspiration today we've certainly opened up a pretty big opportunity for an upside move and even with the bounce that we're getting here this morning we could easily come back up here to the mid mid range here um, on that bounce back up here a little relief rally in the day so a little bit of relief would not be out of the question and uh, a bounce back up if the bears were to continue to find that inspiration however and certainly we have data today that could provide um, both upside or downside uh, moves then we still want to notice that we've got uh, pretty substantial downside yet that we could still come into the market and we haven't visited this area down here for a long time because we've been so elevated so I wouldn't rule out that possibility at all and then if we take a look at our uh, t2108 which is the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average well you'll notice we did cause a little bit of concern here in the market um, yesterday where we broke that upside trend but I gotta tell you it's not terrible in here we've got just a little bit of price support right in here we did break it yesterday but we could easily bounce back up off of that and even if that were to occur I don't think this gets too worrisome unless we break um, this back down where uh, we get more than 50% of the stocks below their 40 day moving average. It's certainly possible today, but let's watch this carefully. What I'm trying to say here more than anything is try not to panic. There's gonna be a lot of volatility here in the market uh, with big moves like that. And um, fear, greed, things like that will be in, in you know, uh, played out heavily here this morning. So just be kind of careful. Um, if we start breaking down below there, that's when I think we're likely to see um, a little bit of panic uh, come into the market. If we take a look at our T2107, now T2107 held up and did a better job. Again, um, we didn't really break that trend. We did come down, test some support in here. 
So no harm, no foul here on the stocks above the 200 day moving average. Um, no problem at all. And we've still got more potential moves to the downside before the, we would really turn into panic here on that. Um, we do want to recognize the fact that we're up here in a very elevated area, however, um, and just be keeping that in mind that if we do bounce up, there may not be a whole lot of upside for that bounce back. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, our T2101 turned up just a little bit. We, we had the breadth falling pretty hard on the upside move here yesterday um, in the in the morning where we were gapping higher and moving up the breadth had fallen substantially showing that there just wasn't a whole lot behind that move and you can see it by the end of the day our breadth turned up now unfortunately that's on the sell wave and like i said yesterday if you're a bull you don't want to see that breadth increasing on a sell wave so let's keep an eye on this we would want to see this kind of flatten out or um or show some relief here to the upside with a bullish move to the upside showing that breadth increasing on the bull side of this and it might be a big tall order on that for today but we'll see how that data comes in so watch that carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar well obviously we've got a few things to be paying attention to first off if you notice right in here we're going to get that employment situation number and then we've got several fed speakers um, obviously that's created some volatility for us here the last couple of days and then baker hughes rig count and uh, consumer credit but this is going to be the the most important of the day and we are expecting an increase um, um, according to the news we're expecting an increase in these numbers even though the consensus here is suggesting a decline going from 275 to 200 um, unemployment rate staying at 3.9 private payrolls at 170 remember we saw private payrolls increase so the um, the news reports are suggesting this number could come in hot now if the numbers come in like this the market's probably going to celebrate the bulls will celebrate and give us some relief if this and these numbers come in hot um, higher than expected i would expect those bears to apply a little bit more pressure here to the market so keep a close eye on this um, these numbers here today they could be really important and they come out before the market open so we could see this pre-market pop that we're getting right now fade really quickly um, into some negatives if that number comes in hotter than expected and then keep an eye on these fed speakers those fed speakers obviously creating some volatility in the market as we head into the weekend now on the earnings calendar we have no notable earnings today so we're running out of that inspiration here on those notable earnings you will want to keep in mind that we start some of the big bank reports next friday so uh, pay attention um, a good chance that we could just kind of wander around um, next week waiting for earnings to kick off and see whether or not we can support these current prices in, in our charts or not Let's take a look at uh, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But remember, everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market, particularly with this volatility. Try not to over speculate or over trade in markets like this because these big moves, they can just take your head off and it can be really, really damaging to um, to your um accounts if we take a look at um, some of the pay systems out there yesterday and and the big banks we had a pretty big reversal here on some of these I was watching um, American Express as a possible long and boy it just turned around um, hard yesterday coming back down into some support areas if it can hold in here we're in pretty good shape um, and for that potential bounce but if we fall on through here well, then we've got some worries here in the market that we'll want to be paying attention to on that financial side. Taking a look at Visa, I think Visa is now 
um, uh, I've been talking about this for the folks in right way options. This is a short and um, you can see that failure extending here in that downside move breaking support levels in here uh, visa has become a short here in the market and um, if we take a look at mastercard mastercard is another one that was just setting up here resting now breaking down here a little bit we've got some price support in that chart that could hold it but some questions are starting to come up and those possible lower highs are starting to show themselves in those charts now our big banks have been really really strong but in those big banks yesterday was a pretty rough sell-off here as we continue to see those rates going higher and i've been honestly very surprised how we have been so gleefully willing to ignore some of the bad data in the market and push these prices continue to push these prices higher on our financials when our bond yields have been running to the upside, um, adding pressure here to the bank. So yesterday we took some wind out of the sails here all at once, but I don't think this is bad yet. Um, we could certainly bounce right back up off of here. I would want to watch that little tiny lower high starting to show in here, but if we were to drop off of here, it's kind of like falling off a little bit of a cliff we could move pretty sharply to the downside here in um, XLF. And then um, taking a look at our regional banks, we also created a little bit of a lower high here yesterday. Didn't really break any support, but maybe that concern if we continue to see those bond yields going up that we could slip on down, test this area of support. Below that, it gets ugly here in um, the regional banks. So watch those things carefully. Now, the things that have been just zooming and continuing to show lots of strength is in the energy sector. Um, energy, um, oil and gas, very, very strong here. Stocks continuing to move to the upside um, all over the place. Um, lots of strength here in that area, and I would watch them closely. If we look at some of the commodity type things in the market, palladium still setting up in a bullish pattern. Um, looking at gold, oh my goodness, gold has been so strong. It, it popped up to a new high yesterday, ended up pulling back by the close of the day, and you can see gold is trying to move up again this morning. Morning, um, showing lots and lots of strength. Um, if you look at, if you'd rather have physical gold, take a look at something like PHYS. These stocks are just zooming um, to the upside, and anything in the mining sector as well, very, very strong. Uh, when you look at um, anything in like, um, whoops. GDX um, in those miners just ripping to the upside, breaking through major resistance areas, showing lots and lots of strength here and trying to move up here this morning. And you can just pop into some of the, well, that's not all the stocks that are covered in here. There's something wrong here with TC2000 this morning, but AU, um, there's just tons of stocks in here. If we look at Barry Gold, um, lots of strength in these stocks. Also, take a look at anything in the metal sector. Really, take a look at aluminum. Um, Alcoa moving up here, trying to break through a major resistance area of the chart. Any rest consolidation up here that pops on through would set up that next opportunity to the upside in Alcoa. And of course, anything in copper um, showing lots of strength here for those upside moves. So we're getting some pretty darn good energy here in these stocks. Now, if we take a look at some of our grain uh, commodity, things like corn, corn has been setting up this higher low in here, quite a resting pattern, really seesawing back and forth. We'll wanna watch that carefully though, if that pops out of here. Remember food prices, as we continue to see these producer prices going up, and one of the major inputs, of course, for producer prices is energy, and it's costing them more to produce products. We could easily start to see these products moving on higher, particularly if that dollar weakens. Watch some things like corn, Watch some things like wheat trying to break that downtrend here, uh, pushing up big time this morning. 
in that move. Um, any rest or pullback following that trend would set up the next opportunity into uh, that trade. So watch those things carefully. And we have certainly seen um, things in the ag sector like uh, DBA. Whoops, let me get that going here. There we go. Uh, DBA. Uh, pushing strongly here to the upside. It is resting right now, but those grain commodities have been holding up really, really strong here in the market. And following along with that, really take a, key, um, um, a, a good look at stocks like John Deere. Now, John Deere had some volatility in it yesterday, but I think that's still setting up for a potential upside move. We're just resting out here to the trend. Caterpillar has remained beautifully strong. Little pullback, little dark cloud cover in there yesterday, but every reason to believe that that could continue to resume to the upside. And even coming, CMI, CMI possibly setting up. It had popped through yesterday, was looking good, pulled back, finding trend and support every reason to believe that that still may have that upside energy if the bulls can continue to push in the market so keep an eye on that take a look at stocks like teva this has been in this just beautiful upside trend pulling back if we can hold this area in here we may still find that upside move here in TEVA so watch that carefully so I, I want to let everyone know that the world's not coming to an end there are lots of bullish charts out there to be paying attention to um, in this market despite the fact of, of that uncertainty I'm certainly not trying to convince you to go buy anything right now with this volatility because that could be a little bit um, well, a little sketchy. Um, we're trying to make that decision. Are we really going to tip over and go into the bearish trend or are we going to um, try to hold and um, even consolidate a little bit waiting for that next round of earnings and the market's trying to make a decision here. So be really, really careful with trying to predict what's going to happen next here in the market because clearly the volatility shot up so much that even the best technical analyst is going to make some mistakes here in um, this volatility, so be careful. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and also a wonderful weekend with your family. Get some rest. Market will be here. Don't panic. Market will be here Monday morning, and maybe we'll start sorting out some of these details and pick a direction here in the market without so much wildness in these swings. Everyone, just be safe, be careful, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Wish you all the very, very best.